Yeah, when I just came to Hong Kong, not the easiest time for me, coming from mainland China, and the two worlds are very, very different. So my mom gave me a very small digital camera, um, and that, that camera became one of my best friends. So I was very intrigued. I walked around in the city, uh, just capturing whatever gets my attention. Uh, and that, over time, became my career. Hi, I'm Jingya. I'm a fashion portrait photographer. So I was born in mainland China, uh, in a province called Jiangxi. Um, I came to Hong Kong 12 years ago to study films. Uh, which was um, one of my passion and still is. Uh, when I just came to Hong Kong, I find uh, meeting new friends are very difficult. I think it's part of the experience being a new city. Um, and also I came from a very different world. Uh, I was not mentally not fully ready for that. Yeah. From time to time I feel, oh my God, I, I don't have like many friends here. Um, but whenever I pick up camera, I forget all about this. My clients are uh, mostly international companies and uh, having different branches in different cities in the world. And um, we work together. I think they appreciate my uh, visual style and um, uh, in return, I shoot really nice stuff for them. When I decided to become a photographer, uh, my mom really panicked. <laughs> I think it's out of her comfort zone and she also worries a lot about everything I do. She thinks it's, um, um, I, I would not be able to support myself. Uh, she also uh, worries about my personal life, marriage and um, dating, as like most of the Chinese moms do. She, she thinks about this a lot more than I do sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Because Hong Kong is an expensive city and you're going to find a place that you love, uh, finding someone who you can, you can talk to and support each other from time to time. And I guess, uh, I think it still goes back to that question. I know you think it's a professional question, but to me, art is life. Um, what we do defines uh, the way we live and the way we live uh, in return goes back to our professional work. So I, I don't see two things as separate, it's always together. I think about my career being a professional photographer. I don't really think um, there is that much difference. And people wouldn't like say, oh, you know, you cannot do this because you're a female photographer. That never happened to me. But I do see more challenges because sometimes um, you, you just have to shoot long hours and you want to be there, you want to capture the best. Um, to be physically resistant and physically strong, I guess.